it almost feel like female rappers don't feel like there's enough space for each other in the industry. Do you feel like that? No, I don't feel like that. Because it's like, come on now, we all can team up together and run it together. Because, like, I mean, look at all the Memphis girls. Right. They could have uh, easily been like, oh, I ain't finna pull in the door because she might outshine me, this and this and that. They came together. Like, that shit can happen not just in Memphis. That shit can happen worldwide. Like, look at fucking Cardi and Gloss. I mean, Glow. Like, look at fucking everybody, literally, that's doing this together. So, for somebody to be mad at me on some rap shit, I don't understand where they ever came from. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J. Hill, was in the building. J. Hill Podcast. Oh, man, another one. This is what we're going to keep doing, man. Um, Special young artist in the building. She's been doing her thing. I mean, her gram going crazy. I've been seeing a little back and forth on it and that, too, but we ain't going to talk about that. You feel me? Very talented young lady from... Chattanooga, Chattanooga. Tennessee, I, I, yeah. You feel I want to say I was going to say it right. You feel me? Yeah. Big Brat is in the building, and let me tell you, let me listen. I gotta give her our roses, man. I, I had an interview like that that went over. It went like some time over too, for real. And she was downstairs thugging it. I just want to tell you, I appreciate you. Um, I would never expect that from from you, ever. But the fact that you waited for like we ain't gonna tell the people because we ain't even gonna think we ain't gonna have them think it's okay. I, yeah, cause I ain't no sitting duck. Yeah, nah, I ain't, mm-hmm. we ain't want fuck them niggas. You feel me? But I appreciate you for real. So because I appreciate you, I'm gonna give you this. All right, it's blue, but I ain't gonna give it to you. Okay, I'm gonna boy. give it to your peoples. We gonna drink? You gonna drink this right now? You want it right now? All right, you could talk. Say, say something. You know what I'm saying you wanna drink it? You can drink. It. Yeah. Yo, big brat is in the building. Yo, um, being being completely transparent, uh. Like, I literally just got put on with you. Your shit sound hard, though. For, for sure. sure. Can you tell me if you had to, if if if, if you, if I did an interview with you, right, mm-hmm. and you wanted the people to leave with something of who you are, what would that be? What would you want to to, to leave with the interview, what people know? Um, they would be like, oh, this is a new generation gangster boo. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what it's giving. What the fuck is a gangsta boo? I'm old. Whoa. Yeah, I'm old. I don't know yeah. what the fuck that is. You gotta yeah. explain it to me. See, gangsta boo and Lil Chat was like some hard ass gangster rappers back in the day. Oh, that was a per- oh shit that went over my head. Yeah, I heard. Okay, I thought you were saying uh, referencing yourself as a gangsta boo. No, I'm sorry. Don't don't listen. Judge my judge my brain and not my heart. Okay, but go. Ahead. I'm sorry. You Lord can finish. Bless it. Yeah, you can finish. Go ahead. C- c- continue. Yeah, that's what that's what it basically gives uh, the new generation gangsta boo and little chat and shit. Mm. It's just new, newly generated. Like the beats going crazy, the shit, the music going crazy. Everything is just everything. Mm. How is the uh? How is it right now? Here, you can get it. How- everything is nice at this moment. Like I'm working at my own pace. I'm getting shit done and. I'm elevating at the same time. How was the, uh, like, the music, you fucking with the music industry? Like, tell me what's your background. Like, in Chattanooga, how was it? Like, was it, it was rough? Was it good for you? It can be everything in one. It is what you make it. Like, if you put yourself in that lifestyle, you in that lifestyle. If you surround yourself around that lifestyle, you in that lifestyle. If you study yourself and have ambition and dreams, you can stand on that if you do the right thing. Specifically, though, for you, how was it? I mean, it was different. Like, it was times where I felt like I was living my best life, mm. and it was times where I felt like, shit, what's next? This shit draining. Like, mm. I love my city, though. It just ain't meant for me. The transition 
from you being in your hometown, you feeling like you was having your worst days and your best days, right, to where you are now, being in the music industry, um, the things you're doing now, how do you, like, what's going on? Is it is it better? Do you like this? Do you like this more? Is it some things that's getting on your nerves? If so, what? I would say I like all this shit better because it's like, what's better than being in the mix and getting paid for it than being at home and being in the mix and getting drama behind being in the mix? Like, mm -hmm. people down here, they don't know me, so they ain't got no reason to hate on me. Mm -hmm. At home, like, everybody wants your life. So it's like they gonna hate on this shit. So you was you was lit back home. Yeah. Like super lit. I wanna say super lit as an artist. Now I'm super lit as an artist. But it was like super lit as a person. Mm. Like I always been the one like Niggas knew for real. Everybody know. I feel like when you when when you get that love in the hometown, that's something that a lot of people want that, but but don't be able to get that. Like a lot, a lot of people want that love in that hometown and and aren't able to to reach that destination. See, that that's how it was for me, cause it's like, but my city is like me. They they like they weren't showing me lo love at first, cause I was playing with this shit and they expected more out of me. Okay. Like now, when I actually done got on my shit. They behind me 100%. Like, it's nothing nobody can say about me in my city not go hard for me. Like, mm. and I love that shit. That shit feel good. Because at the end of the day, like, it just get reassurance that I'm not in this shit by myself. Because mm. I am in a whole new city. How long you been on here? I've been back and forth. I promise I'm going to let you just, I see you trying to take, take sips and I keep asking you questions nah, and shit. No, nah, it's just like, it keep me, you know, having something to do in between time. Mm. Um, what did you ask me? How long you been out here in A? Back and forth two years. Mm. Now I'm here permanently though. I told you I'm away till you drink. <laughs> 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 I keep asking you questions. You gotta stop this shit. So wait, how long has you been down here permanently though? Like when you made that move to be down here, how long has it been since then? Right now it's been a month, but I already done had cribs down here before, and it's been like a year at least. Shit like that. Oh, you been having motion. Yeah. Damn. Yo, how did the, uh, cause you, you, you signed to 21. In Metro. In Metro. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, some random shit, some random Instagram shit. They just came across my shit and shit, like, just like transpired. What? Now like, you gotta give me the story. Set the like, story out. Don't okay. be selfish. Actually, like. I been had this ain't my first deal. I had a major deal before two years ago. Wait, who? Cinematic and Interscope. Get Johnny Shipes up in New York. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Okay. Johnny. Um. How the fuck did he? Johnny Shipes be having his ear to the streets though. Yeah. You know he uh he he helped um Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. Get on. You know that. Yeah. How did how did that happen? How did him me and Shipes? Yeah. See um. I, when I signed to Shipes, I had never dropped a song before. That nigga. Be so, on <laughs> like, we linked up, six figure deal. That shit ain't work out though. Like, I feel like I, it was a right now situation. Like, I just had graduated high school. Like, just turned seventeen. Like, I just, right now, six figures, and I'm seventeen. Hell yeah, give it to me. Like, but it ain't work out. But wait, how did he find you though? If you ain't make no music or nothing, I like, was you ain't going make... viral, like freestyles. Okay, okay. I oh. had never dropped the song on any platform, though, just freestyles. And then he signs you six-figure deal. You get you got to keep that? Did you have to pay that back? Like, because usually you get signed, that's like, it's basically a loan. I ain't have to pay them shit back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, you special. Okay, so you making music now. You said some random shit, 21 Savage, come across your Instagram. How does that happen? His manager came across my shit. Measy. Yeah. Okay. Big Measy. Yeah. He came across my shit and it was like, he drove to Chattanooga because I was moving back to Atlanta. I mean, to Chattanooga, like, the day he texted me and it was like, what happened? Oh, he texted me and I was like, oh, I'm on my way back to Chattanooga right now. But it, I thought it was a joke because it's like, so many people like, yeah, I want to sign you and woo woo But I haven't been doing shit. Like, I ain't, before I signed to them, I haven't dropped in a year and a few months. Mm. So it was like, um, now I just started back posting freestyles. Just got back in the studio and this shit happened. 
So, yeah, it was some off the wall, like, random ass shit, like, that wasn't expected. Because it was like, I didn't, I wasn't really locked in with nobody around. So, it's almost like you you meant for this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Because shit, how the fuck you get signed without even dropping music? I guess it was the freestyles, like, even, that shit is crazy. Yeah, like, definitely. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like some people just have it and some people don't? No, I feel like if they don't got it, you can create that shit. Anybody, you can make, you can make anybody a rapper, but anybody can't get, be an artist. Like, mm-hmm. that's different. A rapper and an artist is different. Like before I signed, I was a rapper. I can actually call myself an artist now because I'm doing artist shit. I'm handling artist business, and I'm really doing what I'm supposed to do. Rappers is people who just like, yeah, all right, I do this shit just to do it. Let's just put this shit out just to do it. Like. You just rapping. You being a, like you rapping. You considering yourself a rapper. You're not an artist. I guess the artist comes with the business. It comes with you actually being strategic about what you're doing. Actually, it's kind of like a job. Right. Let me ask you this then, because sometimes jobs can be annoying, right? Even if you love it or not. Right. It's a saying that once I stop having fun with it, I'm done with it. Do you believe in that? Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Definitely. That's That was the situation with the first label I had. Like, once the fun gone out of that shit, it's like, I'm working too much. Like, I ain't, I ain't really too much having fun. I'm trying too hard. Mm. Like, if you try too hard, you ain't really too much getting out, nothing out of it. Because you can try too hard, but I feel like trying too hard is kind of like, that a fuck up, it. yeah. It's kind of like forcing it to fuck with your self conscious, like it fuck with your confidence a little bit too, like trying too hard, cause it's like I'm trying and this shit, like, but you gotta have fun with this shit, like either way. I only ask that cause I feel like if anything, cause like this, I love I love doing this, but it's times where this shit ain't fun. But right. I would be crazy to be like I'm done with it, cause it's it's not fun at a get uh, a particular time, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that's why I feel like I don't know. That's why I, I don't, I'm on the edge about that scene, cause yeah. like sometimes you ain't, like if you are, like you said going back to being an artist, artist is handling business. Sometimes that business ain't fun. Right. Mm. But what I learned out of that situation, like sometimes you gotta sacrifice having fun to get the business done. Mm. And when that shit done, you can do have all the fun you want to. Like right now, I'm 19. I should be doing regular teenager shit. I'm handling my business because I know when I get done with this shit, I can have fun. Everybody mm. around me gonna be able to have fun. Like. Mm. You know. Yo, who are some of the um the rappers you fucking with right now? Like not even if you know them personally, but somebody you fucking with. I'm fucking with Babyface real hard, like What about female rappers? Glorilla, of course. All the Memphis girls, like, they shutting shit down. Tennessee running shit right now. What's up with like what's 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 so special about Glorilla, you think? Her wordplay, her confidence level, like any when Glorilla come up, like she had a lot of haters just mm-hmm. for the simple fact, like, she young, she a female, and she shot past some of the niggas that's coming in, like, and that really motivated me, like. Did she ever, like, reach out to you or anything? Um, We all done had conversations before, like. That's hard. We all in cahoots, like. That's hard. I think I fuck with her, like, I always fuck with when somebody can be themselves. Like, it seemed like she's just, like, young chick. From the hood, just really just having fun and like she got her opportunity. I love that type of shit. Like that shit is hard. Yeah, that's that's my favorite thing about it though. Like it remind me of me a lot because it's like 
We ain't on no industry shit. Like, we popping shit being regular, like, and they hate that shit, like. Mm. You know what's crazy? It's because I seen, no, I'm not going to talk about this. We ain't going to say no names. I seen you had you had some little troubles with people or whatever, some little beef shit. Why do so many female rappers be beefing? Like, I feel like, and then you hear so many female artists say, like, you know, the industry put us against each other. I don't, I don't know how, I don't think that's true. I feel like it's just the way of the world almost. Like, it's like, it almost feel like female rappers don't feel like there's enough space for each other in the industry. Do you feel like that? No, I don't feel like that. Because it's like, come on now, we all can team up together and run this shit together. Like, Because, I mean, look at all the Memphis girls. Right. They could have uh, easily been like, oh, I ain't finna pull in the door because she might outshine me, this and this and that. They came together. Like, that shit can happen not just in Memphis. That shit can happen worldwide. Like, look at fucking Cardi and Gloss. I mean, Glow. Like, look at fucking... Everybody literally that's doing this shit together. So for somebody to be mad at me on some rap shit, I don't understand where they ever came from. Cause so I why love do you everybody think, that's rapping. Why do you think the where the beef where do you think the beef come from then? Like why why girls going at each other so much? I feel like God niggas do the same thing, but I feel like it's just like I just say at an all time high with female rappers now. It's they fans. Somebody just said that. It's the fans. Like you cannot be worried about somebody. Actually like you could be dead ass cool with somebody and it ain't a public relationship, so it ain't nobody business. But it probably could have been some shit that was blew out of proportion and mm. they gonna blow it up and they fans get to coming on your shit talking shit and your fans get to going on their shit talking shit like huh. Was you think that was your, your situation when whatever happened? Nah, my situation was bitches just was, was just mad and jealous. I don't understand that for real. I ain't gonna lie. I to mean, you. my situation co- came from my song being stolen, so okay. it shouldn't even be that far of a situation when I'm the one. I don't get like if you feel like something was done to you, basically, like yeah, like I don't mention nobody. I don't go look go around looking for nobody. I don't diss nobody on the internet. I don't have a problem with nobody, hmm. but. When you chilling like and you really have emotion with this shit and motherfuckers really want everything you got, they gonna try to take it. They hungry. They want it. They go for anybody that's like doing something good. Like you might be the trap of the year. Them young niggas waiting, watching, ready to get your ass because they want what you got. That's anybody's situation. They got some shit. Mm. It's always somebody wanting and want want what you got. Even if they got something, that shit might not be enough for them because you prospering more or better. Like. It's a real hate and envious world, man. It's definitely like what they call it—a uh, crab in a barrel, crab in a barrel, dog eat dog world type vibe. Yeah. I feel like that's come from like a lot of people aren't able to. Cause honestly, I'm gonna be real, my but I'm an old head, so like I don't want to sound like no preacher on this motherfucker. But I ain't scared of y'all motherfuckers. I feel like even in the hood, to be real, like I'm from the hood, like I'm from the trenches for real. It might not seem like it, but I'm really from the trenches. I feel like a lot of that shit be misplaced love. Niggas just don't know how to express themselves. Like, that's how I feel. And the same way with the industry shit. Like, I was talking to Akbar and she was saying, like, um, like the industry is the same way the streets. I don't know. Like, I just feel like a lot of niggas just don't know how to express themselves out this motherfucker. And I felt that way, too. The industry is most definitely the same thing as the streets. The only thing in the, the, only thing in the industry is, like, because in the industry is, like, say, for example, in the streets, your man will snake you. Mm-hmm. In the industry, your man will snake you, like. But you might, you might can get at that nigga in the streets, but you can't go kill your A and R. You can't go kill your CEO, like. You know, you you off rip having some problems behind that shit. It's all that should be figured out the next day, the same minute. You feel what I'm saying? Unless you just like John Gotti or something, like. The industry in the streets is too much alike. Only thing I feel like. The streets, the police, but the industry is the police. The, the more, and then in the industry, it's c- too many street motherfuckers coming into the industry that's really standing on business now. So the industry is the streets. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like niggas just need to learn how to com- communicate. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I feel like, and, and I think people be too invested. Right. If I had to be real, like, hypothetically, I'm gonna give you some props again. 
for for how you handle our business, right? But I don't know if I set up an interview. I don't know somebody late. It's either I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna wait or I'm gonna cancel. Point blank period. So everything in the in between needs to be extra shit. And I feel like that's the epitome of real life in the industry. We're talking about the same thing, right? I feel like people have feelings on things. And it's like, bro, you either not gonna mess with somebody, like I said, if you're if you're uh your A and R sneaky, right? Is either you gonna say fuck them and walk away, or you're gonna forgive them and keep going. But right. I think the problems come with the in between. Right. All the extra or you ain't going. It's like, bro, man, life is too short. I don't give a fuck. Like, I really I, I just got to maybe because I'm old, maybe that's it. Like, I just got to the point where it's like, is either I'm gonna forgive you and move on, or I'm not, and just move past it. <coughs> can't be careful. Mm. You must have felt that. She was like, she had some shit to say. <laughs> she had some shit to say. It's cool. That's definitely like my main motto. Like, mm -hmm. if you do something to me, like, bro, I'm, when I wake up tomorrow, I'm not worried about this shit. Like, I'm really like at a point where like, I ain't got the energy to do that. I ain't mm -hmm. got the energy to be over here pushing the movement that is fuck you and getting money at the same time. Like, it's fuck you. You can't never come around me no more. Like, but it ain't a problem. We ain't got to make it one. Mm. You know, like, some people got to learn to deal with that. Like, you can be a person that's not liked or not fucked with, but it ain't got. we ain't got to have beef because I don't fuck with you. Like, Facts. Oh, my. That's some, that's some real shit. You say you're 19? Yeah, I'm you 19. Know, you know a little something. You know a little something. Yeah, I'm 19. You, you going to give me some money or are you nervous? Like, what's up? My hand's itching. I think I'm about to make 100000 a day. You gonna throw me something? If you make a hundred thousand dollars right now without doing nothing, how much would you give me? It depends on if you need it, cause at the end of the day, I'm a real bitch. And if you <laughs> really like, if I'm me, down bad, you are gonna help me out? Yeah, cause I know I'm God gonna handle me. Like I'm gonna get handled on that situation, so I don't mind looking out. You find a hundred thousand dollars right now with your best friend. How much you give your best friend? Fifty. Fifty off top. I'm giving her fifty off top, and she know it. Mm. Damn, that's crazy. You the best friend or not? You just work partner. You just a business associate. <laughs> oh, same same thing. Same thing. If I find it wrong with my manager, like she handle business. Mm, that's and, some real like, shit. We family now, so once we family, I know we we locked in. I fuck with it. Yo, who you like you down here with any um? You down here by yourself? Like just yeah, but my grandparents stay here. Aunties, uncles. How is that for you? Like you. you are you? Is it making you uncomfortable? Like, how is it? Nah, I don't see like. Don't come up here and lie, cause I know that shit hard. Don't play with me. Nah, it's actually not hard, cause it's like. She made me feel like a bitch. When I'm, I've been staying. I graduated at sixteen. The day I graduated, I moved from my hometown to another part of Tennessee. Okay, okay. So, like, and I was up there. It was me, my brother, and my little cousin. We ain't know nobody else, like. We just vibed out together, and it was, like, the best times ever in the world, like, mm. still to this day. Shit. So, when I moved, so, but, like, I always done had connections and plug-ins down here, like, with people. And, like I said, anytime I meet somebody, like, it's hard for them not to love me. Like, after the first time they meet me, they like, yeah, I love her. I can, no, I, I ain't gonna lie, you a vibe. You a cool little vibe, for real. Yeah. You, you, I fuck with you. They, you say, like, you got your head on straight and shit. Most likely. You came up here like you want smoke, though, but... Because what's up? I'm not talking <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you ain't no motherfucking gangster, nigga. You ain't scared nobody. Nah, for real. Like. <laughs> Yo, who, uh... Is there anybody you trying to, like, work with right now? Um, I ain't really, like, got nobody that I'm aiming for. Like... Niggas be I too do, cool, bro. I do got, like, some dream collabs and shit in if I do, like, so happen just to run into an artist and they popping shit, even if they not popping shit, like, yeah, bro, we need to lock in. I mean, we, gonna, we can handle that shit. Like, like who? That's anybody I run into. Oh, wow, wow. But, like, right now I ain't really, like, just, I don't know, because I'm really an R&B type of bitch. Like, yeah. I Wait, come again? I only listen to R&B music. So, <laughs> you be capping. Um, well, you you say you only an R and B type of chick. Like I only like R and B music, so it's like I be like, 
when I listen to like I'm a fan of R and B music. Okay, like, I'm about to say, did I have the wrong Instagram or some shit? Nah, like, you, hold up. You, you had the right Instagram, boo. I'm, it's just, I'm just saying, <laughs> like, did I miss something? Like, no, nah, it's just like I'm a I'm a real fan of R and B and country music. So it's like some shit. I'm from Tennessee, Chattanooga now. So, country music? What country? Give me a country artist right now. Ryan Up Church. Who the fuck is that? I love Rolling Stone. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. I don't have to. Because <laughs> you don't know the rest. You fucking Google that shit. No, I'm say I this don't. Today. No, I don't. So give me another one then. Top three country music people uh, artists right now. I don't even know how to say this shit right. Ryan of Church. Mm-hmm. And you can't say the nigga Molly Cyrus' pa- for father. Molly Cyrus' father. I can't say him. Mm-mm. Huh. Yeah. I like the nigga who sang a song. Hold on, wait. I can tell you. <laughs> I can tell you, this nigga who sang a song, Big Green Tractor, that's one. How it go? We can go slow, or we can go faster now. To the, mm. You might really know some. Okay, who else? And then it's like some country singers that just sing like, they kind of sing. So it's like um, Brent Fires. That ain't no fucking. He sing, he sing, he's a white boy that sing, or he black? <laughs> I don't know, nigga. I don't know, but his shit sound like he white. That's like a white singer. You said Brent Fayez, though. That ain't country music. No, he sing. I'm I'm going on, on to the R and B. Okay, because you never you ain't give me three country, but whatever. Oh, I gave you two, and that's enough. At the <laughs> end of the day, <laughs> he like nigga. I'm gonna control this shit. When you go to the when you go like when you go out like because we always done went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. That's the most countryest town. Niggas got like cabins and stuff. Like mm-hmm. when you when you go into the buildings, they play country music, and I be knowing the songs. And they like, how you know this shit? And I'm like, I don't know. I probably heard it come on the TV or something because I literally put the playlist on. Mm-hmm. And I be knowing the shit. Like, okay, I'm fucking yeah. with you. I fuck with you. I fuck with the energy for real though. No okay, oh, cap, man. I don't know. My friends be irritated as fuck with me. With wow. my music selection. Because it's like, we leave the studio, listen to gangsta shit, and now I get in the car, it's some R&B shit or some country shit. Like Top five favorite R&B songs right now. Don't play with me. I came to play. I like Mary J. Blatch, My Everything. <sighs> okay, that's fire. I like Angel of Mine. Okay. This is not an R&B song, but this is my shit. Gangsta Lean. I said R and B songs. Okay, same thing. Cause he's singing. Okay, I ain't mad. But at he gangsta that. singing. Okay, I like what I te- what I say. My everything. Heartbreak anniversary. Anniversary. Um. Gangsta lean. Gangsta lean. That song they be like something something as simple as me hearing your name. I ain't mad at that. Who is that? Um, Who is that? Shit, they gonna kill me for this. I need. I should know that. I know that whole song. I just cannot Damn, put it together Monica. right no, now. It's not uh, not SW. You don't know? You don't know? Shit, they gonna kill me. I supposed to know. I'm an R&B king. I just on mentioned her in my story, and she reposted me. For real? Yeah, I can't think. Fuck of it, me. fuck it. Let's keep. I like, wish you love me, Tanisha Kelly. Yes, and then my last one got to be. Let me see. What's Pussycat Dolls? I'll stick with you. You might know a little song. Yeah, I remixed that. You might be cool yeah. for real, for real. Yeah. Fuck out of here. I remixed that. So, so tell me if you had to paint the studio day, right? Mm-hmm. How does how does the studio day go until y'all get out and get out of the studio and get into the car? Okay, so we might talk a little bit for about two hours or so. We're going to talk, and then we're going to smoke. And then, like, we going to hype the shit up. And then it depends on the day. I might be like, I'm finna do some old school shit today. Like, or I might, I'm finna do this. I'm finna try to do some singing shit. Like, it depends on how, however I feel. We going to do that shit. But when we get in the car. R&B. Yeah. Give me that my everything. Like. You are everything. Yeah. That's my, that's my first one. You play the same shit over though. No. Nah. I'm about to say you can't be that annoying, bro. You gotta yeah. have you gotta have like I got shit in the tuck. Yeah. Like, but I, right I ain't now, never gonna play the same R&B song over. I'm on Summer Walker session thirty two so bad. 
right now. That like. shit. <laughs> the worst thing up the the only you I, you probably could fill in the blank. The worst thing apart the worst thing about Summer Walker Session Thirty Two is what? Right. What lyric? No, the worst part about it. It's what? It's so short. That's it. That's all it's I can. That's so the only short. thing I can say. That shit. I love crazy. that song. I'm like, bro, she needs to just get do a remix like, or something, yeah, bro. Like, you seen the um, put me on that motherfucker. That's your problem. I'm just playing. Yo, nah, I'm not gonna lie. Summer Walker, when she performed outside, it was like a like a million people. She was pregnant. She started crying. Yeah, that made me tear up. That shit was hard. That made me tear up. That's what made me like go and get into the song. That shit was hard. Wait, that that's what made you like the song? That's what made because, like, huh, I don't listen. I'm finding my sound right now. So when people, people, like, any new droppings that came out in the last year, I ain't heard them unless I heard somebody play a song. Mm. With her loss, that motherfucker go through the crib all day. That motherfucker nasty. You hear me? Mm. But, you hear me? like, if I hear the song playing, I'm like, what the fuck is this? My little sister like, you ain't heard this? And I'm like, what's the name? She's like, this that new little baby. This Nigga, that new I would little think little... you would know all this shit. You 19. You talking about my little sister. Nigga, I would yeah. go to you to get some help. Like, you probably know the shit I need to know. R&B only, like. I'm and I don't me. even be on the new drops for them, like, unless, like, I see it. But I don't really follow too many people, like, so I don't be saying that shit. Like, you got the old soul for real. Yeah, like I gotta just hear that shit and then I'ma go to it. Nah, I fuck with it. If you when you tell your friends you're trying to do something different, do they like sh- try to shout you away from it? They be like, not hating, but like, nah, I don't do that shit. Or they be c- encouraging you. Nah, see, like my 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 group, like my family, whatever, like I wanna do, they ain't no yes man. If they feel like it's cool, we gonna do it or we gonna do it, and they gonna say, nah, this ain't it. I, I feel like all girls circles just be like, yes, bitch, yes, like do that, like fuck all these niggas and like girls circles be different. Like I feel like y'all just be like hyping each other for the craziest shit. Like it just be crazy. I'll be with it. Yeah, but I ain't got no. I got a mixed in circle. Like we got the gang and we got the girls. We got the boys and the girls. We, like the boys be in the studio sessions and they they encourage like. My gangster side. And the females, like, the girls, they encourage the gangster side, too. Like, but if we, like, if we do some soft shit, like, we literally be just sitting there because it's like, yeah, I listen to R&B music, but no, none of that shit happened to me. So it's like. You said don't none of that shit happened to you? Yeah, no, none of that You never got your heart broken? I mean. Bro, you come here with all this gangster shit. I know you got your heart broken. I know somebody hurt you. I know you didn't cry. Lie if you want. I'm 19. Like. You get your heart broken at 17, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but when I was in a relationship at 17, we that was my longest relationship. Like, I mean, we, we broke up just because, like, we was around each other too much. Like. <laughs> That's oh, it. I'm just picturing like picture me and my girl bringing up because we ain't live with each other. Like, babe, we just around each other too much. Like, babe, I need some space. And then it's like we was we was 17. And it's like we in each other's face every day. It's like okay. I'm gonna be like, babe, I need some space. She'm like, yeah, out of space, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, what I would so, do to be 19 again? Ah, damn. I ain't never had my heart broke. But that's good. That's good. Like, I done had my trust broken. That's different. Mm. So. How was, like, what you mean? Like, how, how did, like, what happened? Like, I can, I can love somebody. Like, when I, okay, it's different now. Like, I love somebody and, like, you broke my trust. So it's like, I don't get my feelings involved. Mm. So long as, I can love you, but my feelings not involved. So do you like, think you can really love somebody if your feelings not there? Yeah. Cause it's like, yeah, you like it's like, I'm talking about feelings involved to a point like you can do something like you can say fuck me today and cool. I might think about you, but I ain't gonna go cry about it. Cause it's like, I never got deeply involved mentally. Like, mm. if I'm physically involved and I'm showing you affection and I'm standing on what I say and what I mean, but like I can really wholeheartedly love somebody. 
and still like just not mentally attach myself there. What's your sign? When you when you was born? I'm a Gemini. Why Cause it's like Take I a can guess. be I can be happy. Take a guess. Are you a Gemini? June the fifth. I'm June the fourth. That's why we was in two weeks. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you listen to her I'm like. Okay, where the fuck is your sign? Yeah. One thing about Gemini's, we love each other, boy. I swear to God. I don't like male Gemini's. You don't? Mm -mm. I don't love Gem. I love all Gemini's. I ain't gonna lie. I fucking. I if you a Gemini? You watching this? Big, 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 like big, big handshake to the Gemini females. <laughs> why you don't fuck with? Why you don't fuck with the niggas? Why you don't fuck with? <sighs> Sick in the head, like. You must have been with a Gemini guy, or something. Yeah, you said you didn't get your heart broken, but that shit must have stung. He ain't break my heart. He it's was a Gemini? Like, yeah, it was just like, that's just the only thing that made me, yeah, this bitch sick in the head. It gotta be because he a fucking Gemini. I see what the fuck <laughs> motherfuckers be talking about. Like, <laughs> So what the fuck you think about yourself then? I mean. You know this is like the Spider-Man meme at this point. Because like, yeah. what the fuck you be? Like, what you think about yourself? I think I can't, I think like. I can't be a person that break hearts because it's like, like I said, when, once you, when somebody get my vibe, they love me. Like, I can be just, like, I can FaceTime a nigga one time and it's like, he on me bad. And he's like, why are you doing all that? Just chill. Like, But you know you probably charming and shit like that. Like, that's a Gemini thing. You got away with words. That's that's my problem. Like, that's why I say I can't be a fucked up person but, and break hearts because it's like they be on me bad and I be like. You take advantage of that shit. I don't take advantage. It's just like I would, I would stop talking to them. Like, I don't have to talk to you every day, bro. This shit ain't getting too far. Like, just chill. We you, cool, boo. We cool, boo. We got to you. But you hate Gemini. You was crazy. You sound crazy. Uh, it's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, I fuck, I fuck with it. Um, What you got going on right now? Like, what is it that you pushing, that you promoting, that people need to know about? I might give a nigga hope. I can't give away my heart. We got hope that just came out. So Say it again. I doing? might give a nigga hope. I can't give away my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with your energy, man. Like it's on like, all platforms, all that shit. Here, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, I fuck with this. This is this is hard. Yeah, you gotta pull up again. We gotta like. I'm gonna create. This is gonna be like the new Vlad. I'm gonna just have niggas pull up. I'm gonna sit behind the camera, ask you questions and shit. When you when you get yeah. in a relationship, tell me so I can have you pull up. Tell me all about that shit. Yeah, that's gonna go viral. The beefs and shit. Like when you be beefing, I'm gonna just be like, tell me. About you this. gonna get me broken up with? No, no. Bro, I'm up. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna ask you about all the like. The, the crazy shit. Just pull up. Just and I hear a nigga now. So you putting our business on the internet? Fuck this shit. <laughs> you wanted a nigga J Hill shit? And you said, yeah. I got they gonna did, hate me. I got did like that before. I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the hip hop police. Like, just pull up. Just, yeah. When you want to vent, just be like, yo, I'm tired of this shit. You know, like, you feel me? I'm like, yo, that's little sis. I got. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna just yeah. come up? I got you. you I, I got fucked up like that before. Wait, what happened? I did an interview. And that was like, uh, what you think about bringing a, a nigga to Miami? But I had actually asked the nigga to come to Miami with me, but... They must have knew that. Like, no, nah, I asked him personally, but, like, he ain't come. So, shit, I wasn't worried. Like, so I do the interview and shit, like... But me and him was beefing at the time when I asked him to come. I just wanted to spend his money. Mm. So, shit... I did the interview. I was like, why would you bring a nigga to Miami and this niggas in Miami? Oh, you know, bitch, what you mean? You just asked me to come to Miami with you and you on the interview saying all that shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo, you was crazy. You the devil, but it's cool. It's cool. Fuck it. What you say? What was the song again? I might give a nigga <laughs> hope. Hold on, wait. Let me give you this part the song. My nigga gonna stand on smokers like I'm fucking on the devil. Bragging, I let you hit, I cut him off. Niggas ain't special. Took another bitch nigga, bought that side shirt out the pressure. That's my favorite one. I love hope, man. You gotta have hope out this bitch. You gotta have hope, cause we ain't got none. Yo, big brat in the building. I fuck with it. I fuck with the energy. I fuck with the vibes. I'm, I'm glad you waited, bro. This is worth it. Yeah. I fuck with it. I, I, I fucking hate you.
energy in young motherfuckers. Yeah. Like they just be like this crazy, like just out of this world. But I fuck with you. For sure. This Good all energy. that matter. Big Brat. J Hill Podcast. Mr. J Hill is a rap. We out.